With talks in Cairo on a Gaza ceasefire and hostage release deal extended for a third day, the Biden administration is making a last-ditch effort to reach a deal before the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. It's in the hands of Hamas right now. The, uh, the Israelis have been cooperating. There's an offer out there that's rational. We don't know what we'll know in a couple of days if it's going to happen. But we need the ceasefire. According to the Wall Street Journal, American and Arab mediators have proposed a short pause in the fighting without the release of hostages as a mutual gesture of good faith. But in recent days, Hamas has taken a harder line in the talks, raising concerns the terror group is hoping to stir up violence during Ramadan rather than strike a deal. The past few days were a confirmation of the movement's clear positions. While the Israelis fled from coming to Cairo and sent ridiculous and meaningless demands, such as asking or requesting the names of the prisoners held by the resistance, our position is clear. If the resistance's conditions are not met, the issue of hostages is an issue that is not on the table until our conditions are met. In an attempt to defuse the situation, Prime Minister Netanyahu announced there would be no restrictions on Muslim worshippers in the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. Thus, siding with the defense establishment and dismissing restrictions sought by far-right National Security Minister Itamar Ben-Gvir. We will do everything to preserve the freedom of worship on the Temple Mount while appropriately maintaining security and safety needs and allow the Muslim public to celebrate the Holy Day. Due to the religious character of the Ramadan period, Hamas may be hoping to set off an all-out regional conflict. And with its leadership in Gaza showing complete indifference to the suffering of the civilian population, amid warnings of starvation, it would appear that a Ramadan escalation could well be on the cards.